Welcome to the Morning Star series, Why Should I Invest With You? I'm Holly Black. With me in the studio is Cedric de Fonclair. He's the manager of the Jupiter European Special Situations Fund. Welcome. Thank you. So tell me a bit about the fund and what you're aiming to do. Yes, well, we're willing to invest into growing businesses where we've got reasonably high degree of confidence that they will be stronger franchise in three years' time than they are today. And we're hoping, obviously, to pay a reasonable valuation for those names. So special situations funds look for companies that are out of favour or on the brink of a turnaround. Is that easy to come across opportunities in, in Europe? Well, it's... You, there is more dispersion in terms of valuations now nowadays than they've been in the past. So I, I guess for a stock picker, that's really the opportunity. When you look about the range in terms of valuation or the gap in terms of valuation between high growth businesses and value stocks, this is probably the widest it has been since 2000 and the dot-com bubble. So really, I think it's a good environment for picking the right stocks. And do you find, because you're covering a whole continent, do you find there are particular areas where you find more opportunities or that you tend to avoid? I think from, uh, from our point of view, it's less about country, it's less about sector, but we're trying to invest in companies which ought to benefit from some kind of mega trends. So if you think about urbanization, for instance, whatever happened in the economy, this is going to carry on. Today, we've got 55% of the world population which lives in cities, and probably in a few decades, that will move to 60, 68. So again, when you think about the world leading um, braking system, for, for trains, um, these happen to be a, a, a German quoted company. And here you can see big investment in China and they've got all the retrofit in terms of selling spare parts and services which will lead the growth of that business. Same will apply to other industries like outsourcing. If you think about big data in terms of the world leading network, telecom network equipment manufacturers, they happen to be also quoted in Europe. So there's a number of companies uh, which clearly can dissociate from the low growth environment in Europe and do quite well. And do you have to pay attention to the political environment at all? Because obviously the ECB has surprised people with its announcements lately and that must affect things. Yeah, I think uh, we, we try to avoid highly regulated industries because here uh, political decisions can really impact the future and the growth of those businesses and cap also the return they may, or the profit they will be able to make. So we like businesses we, which are quite agile and can sort of allocate capital where they see the growth opportunity. They tend to be more international businesses. But really, beyond that, it's very much stock specific. Lovely. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And thanks for joining us.